dear Suzel. We always have a message, in fact we are eternally sending messages to dearest Gaia and the humans who love and serve her. You see, as the evolutionary process advances into the fifth dimensional consciousness, the only time is now. And, the only beings are one. We, the Arcturians, are now one with Gaia, as well as with all of the living beings that extend far beyond humanity. Unfortunately, many humans still hold on to the myth that humans are the most evolved beings on Earth. And why do they think that? They think that because they, humanity, have the ability to harm the planet. Now, this actually means that these beings, often known as the Lost Ones, or the Illuminati, have come to Earth because they have heard that some humans can be easily brainwashed. Earthlings, the real humans, can be brainwashed, but not easily. In fact, more and more humans are beginning to awaken to a feeling that something feels not right. How and why have there been so many disasters in such a short amount of time? Are we being led or fooled? Many are at last starting to ask some questions. Humans were meant to be the most evolved species on Gaia. But, animals never lie. They only fight for protection and hunt only to feed their families. If there is food, it is shared with everyone and they are loyal to everyone in their pride, pack, flock, or group. On the other hand, too many humans have sought to have power over others. Even if it meant a devastating experience for the many. Fortunately, there are humans who have chosen a life of service to others. Others meaning, other people, plants, the sky, water and, of course, beloved Gaia. Those who have chosen service to others often live in tight units where they assist and protect the members of their tribe, group, family, or area. However, some humans are more like lone wolves in that they travel only with a mate and their cubs. Or, they may travel alone. Also, all animals have an innate responsibility to protect their pack, pride, flock, etc. If they kill, it is only to feed their families. On the other hand, too many humans hunt or steal from others, rather than feel an obligation to give service to others. In fact, the most civilized, are defined as those living in a nice place with money and are supposedly connected with their higher self. These humans are often the ones who care the least for service to others and focus their lives on service to self. And then, thanks to all, there are the Ascending Ones. Now, the Ascending Ones do not necessarily mean that their ascension is about to occur. But, what it does mean is that they are within the process of ascension. It does not matter where one would be within that spectrum of ascension. Instead it is a spectrum of service to others including Gaia, or the other spectrum of service to self where no one else except for the mighty dollar is really important. Yes, money can bring fun, and even happiness, while the money is still there. But definitely, money cannot create love. On the other hand, people who are happy having money can become very unhappy if they lose it. Why? This occurs because many of the societies on Earth, for example the United States, often strive first for money in the hope that more money will bring happiness and love. If people have found love and happiness then money is an extra prize. However, if people cannot find love and happiness, Money will only serve as a distraction from the love that they cannot find, or the happiness that they cannot create. Money cannot make one find love and happiness, however, many a happy couple have lost their relationship over their money. Having too much money can create as many problems as having not enough. Fortunately, there are more and more people are ready to move beyond the third dimensional concepts of past, present, and future. As more and more of humanity is learning to live within the now, what they had in the past, don't have in the present, or want in the future, is blurring into finding joy within the now. This shift is occurring because all past, present and future are beginning to merge into the now of the fifth dimensional one. How does it feel when you are feeling as though you are losing track of time, 
But what is really happening is that time is losing track of yourself. Time has been like your mother that birthed you and raised you until it was time for you to be you. Now that you are you, you think, I have raised myself to be who I am now. Therefore, now is here. And what am I to do with the here that is within this now? Of course, the only way to find these answers is to move into the new frequencies of the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is just now beginning to integrate into the third and fourth dimensional reality to which humans are accustomed. Hence, those who are able to allow themselves to move into the now, in other words, to not live in the past, to not live in the future, to be in the here of this now, without worry, without desire, but to just be here now. These ones are beginning to feel that there is a certain energy field that is unique, yet quite pleasant, because it feels like something is finishing. It feels like, that which is unfinished or out of balance is beginning to find a neutrality, a center. And, most important more and more of the ascending ones are feeling a new kind of love. This new kind of love is unconditional. It is unconditional love. In other words, they don't have to do anything or be anything or go anywhere. It's not a love that is the result of something that you work for, or deserve, or need. Instead, it is something that just is. And, it is unconditional. You don't have to be better, or nicer, or sweeter, or kinder. Unconditional love is. One of the first great social changes that will occur within this field of unconditional love, is that time will begin to shift and sway, as you move more and more into the transitional phase from the third and fourth dimensional reality, which is based on conditional love, and into the now of the fifth dimension, which is based on unconditional love. Many can remember when their consciousness had brief moments of high, or even higher and higher states of consciousness. We ask you all now to take a moment and remember when those states of consciousness filled your body filled your heart, filled your mind and filled your perceptual field. Can you remember that when unconditional love comes into your thoughts, into your emotions, into your body, and as the unconditional love expands, it goes into your aura? Remember that when you look out into your reality, you always look through your aura. Then, when you look through your aura while it is filled with unconditional love, what you perceive is unconditional love. This unconditional love is allowing people to find the patience that it takes to love themselves unconditionally. Also, it is through loving themselves unconditionally that they can move into this next octave of consciousness, their fifth dimensional consciousness, where they can let go of that which was past, and let go of that which they fear might be their future, as well as let go of who they should or could be. It is within that now that they can move into the experience of being within their own self now, of allowing their own self to be exactly who they are. Then, as you allow yourself to be exactly who you are, and as you observe yourself being exactly who you are, please remember to give that you unconditional love. Then all of you are doing something that is amazing. All of you are going through the process of consciously, or unconsciously, expanding your consciousness beyond the third and fourth dimension of your physical body and your dream body, and into your fifth dimensional light body. As you move more and more to this new, fifth dimensional state of consciousness, it is important that you let go of your old state of consciousness. It is almost as if you are crossing a line, or even breaking a rule that you must be harsh on yourself, in order to create a new rule to be loving to yourself. As you break that old rule, you begin to love yourself so much that you can begin to change your mind. Because, when you love yourself, you can think wisely, lovingly, proudly, and happily about yourself. When you feel this way about yourself, that is when you find an inner courage to just let go. Just let go of who you thought you should be, and allow yourself to become the god or goddess that you are then you can be the representative of Gaia that you are. As you allow yourself to take on that role of the God male, and Goddess female for Gaia, you become one with Gaia's planet Earth. Your inner God self is your seat of the Creator, 
and your inner goddess self is your mother of conception. Then, when you merge the inner god component of yourself, your seed of creation, the creator of your life, with your own inner goddess to be the mother of the conception, of your new life, you can move more easily into the now of the one. This merging allows you to more easily be here now. You should be here now because the now is filled with love for yourself. Also, when you love yourself, you can more naturally look around and love all the world. As you deeply love your world, you do so with a love that is not bound by what you do, or what you think, or what time it is. This love is, because you are within the now of the one of your true, core spirit. It is your core spirit that resonates to the threshold of the fifth dimension. In order for one to cross this threshold, they will be their core spirit who resonates to inner loving, inner knowing, and the inner reflection about their growing awareness of a frequency of reality that is very close. This frequency of reality is so close that it feels as if you can reach out to touch it. But, the meaning of this fifth dimensional touch is difficult to understand with one's third and fourth dimensional perception and third and fourth dimensional thought processes. If you are going on a long vacation into the wilderness, as you travel through this wilderness, your consciousness will begin to expand because you will be influenced by things that you have not normally met in your normal life. Therefore, your consciousness expands. Therefore, as all of you, each of you, together or alone, in small groups or in huge groups, in personal groups and or in planetary groups, move into this wilderness of the fifth dimension, you will be entering a place, actually a frequency, that you may not have consciously experienced before. Actually, many of you have experienced this frequency, this place, but you forgot. As you move into this wilderness, this frequency of the unknown, you may experience the feeling that you have newly arrived into a frequency of reality that you have always known, but forgot. These energies packages are like a quick encounter with a fifth dimensional energy field. This experience is almost like a bright sunrise, a stormy sea, a huge tree, water, or rain. It comes to you within the experiences that you have had within your third and fourth dimensional body. However, it comes to you with a feeling that is beyond. It is a feeling that you know that you are not alone within these experiences. You know that this feeling is not just rising from within you. This feeling is rising deeply from the core of Gaia. Because you are able to interface and love Gaia deeply, because you love Gaia's water, Gaia's air, Gaia's fire, and Gaia's earth, you are able to love the earth, air, fire, and water within your own body. As you love these elements within yourself, you are able to love them within Gaia. Or, perhaps you will begin by loving these elements in Gaia so that you can remember how to love them inside yourself. Either way, you are maintaining a substance, an action, a knowingness that you are intermingling with all of Gaia's elementals. You are intermingling with the fire that goes with every synaptic junction in your body with the sun, and with the light. You are merging with all the water that keeps you alive inside your body, as well as all the water on the body of Gaia that she needs to keep her planetary body alive. You are also intermingling your own element of Earth, with Gaia's own element of Earth. Also, you are intermingling with the air that you breathe, which is the same air that nourishes Gaia. It is like a gift you get from Gaia and you pull this through your body, and then ground it into Gaia as a gift to all life. All life on Gaia sources from the same elements of earth, air, fire and water. As humanity remembers this fact, their humanity begins to change, it begins to shift. You, the humans on earth, begin to feel that being a human is not that different from being a tree. Being a human is not that different from being the sky, or the water or the air. Slowly or quickly, you realize that being a human is being a custodian for Gaia's Earth. You are made of Earth, and you are here to take good care of yourself, in the same manner that you take good care of Gaia. Fortunately, there are more and more humans who want a healthy, beautiful, 
natural planet filled with unconditional love and a knowing of the true, multidimensional reality of Gaia's Earth. This multidimensional reality is what you choose when you allow yourself to go into your higher states of consciousness and communicate with your own higher dimensional self. As you return to the higher frequencies of reality, and as you return to your starships, your perspectives of reality will greatly expand. If you can remember this expanded perspective of reality and bring it back into your daily life, something deep inside of you will change and expand. As you look through your own eyes on the way to driving to the grocery store, you will become aware of your expanding realities. As you wait in line to pick up your children, you see your expanding realities. As you drive to the bank, you see your expanded realities. As you walk your dog or sit in your yard, you see, you will hear, you will feel, you will slowly, or swiftly, remember that you are a member of 5th Dimensional Gaia. Blessings to you all. You are very important. You are the core of planetary ascension. And we, your higher expressions of self, thank you.